thing. Today we had into the mountains. It's called Titi Wangsa. I don't know what's the name of the mountain actually. But it's, if you Google it, it's called Titi Wangsa Rest Stop. It's about 33k or so. And then after that, the descent, we come to a very nice lake. And then one more climb. So I'll show you the roads again. And come along for the ride. Okay, climb has really started this time. So it says 35k. Lastly, 35%. So I think it should be manageable. Probably some will even consider this a beginner's climb. Not for me lah. Climbing is just not my thing. So yeah, see you at the top. you guys can see it there's a dam behind I think it's some form of electro power so I'm about uh, a third up the climb I think so about there um, one thing I learned about all these mountains right having gone to a few already um, once you are here it all basically looks the same lah Unless maybe if it's Italy or France, maybe that one the view is much more spectacular. If it's say within Asia, right, I think it's largely the same. The unique thing about this climb, um, there isn't really like so-called a rest stop. It doesn't taper off and it doesn't flatten or anything. It just is steady. So the good thing about that is it is largely between... 5 to 8 percent this kind of range I don't think it crosses into the double digits so that's the good thing about this climb now if not yeah I would say that uh, pace yourself well and then today the gearing I'm using is a uh, 36 front and 12 25 rear uh, sprockets so seems okay so far mm, my backpacking load is very light so, not a very big deal. I'll just rest a little bit. And then hopefully I can just one shot make it to the top. Unless along the way I see some uh, warung, like a um, roadside restaurant. Then I definitely will have to stop, grab a coffee and relax a bit. So as we get higher and higher, uh, although the sun is rising as you can see, uh, I think the weather, the temperature will fall a little bit as well. See you later.
Look at that. Elephant down here. It's right there. First time I'm seeing a wild one though. There. There was evidence of it all the while, fresh down. But I thought it's inappropriate to take it for you guys now, of course. Wow. Highlight of Okay, we made it to the top. So this is Titi Wangsa. Titi Wangsa rest stop. I don't know what mountain this is called. I totally got no idea. Uh, it's 10 20 like that right now. We started at about 6 30 or so. So if you budget about three hours for the climb, right, it's uh, it should be sufficient lah. You can travel at maybe between 10k to 15 k per hour huh? or maybe sometimes 20k depends but overall the roads are 50 50 also they can be super smooth or they can be borderline loose gravel i mean it's not loose but it's just rough lah so you you vibrate a little bit <laughs> hello hello so this is the best about malaysia you see the people here right super friendly one you can really stop any car that is along the road if you need help Surely somebody will help you. If you really cannot make it up the climb, right? You don't have to worry on. You can flag any of the lorries. They 100% stop for you. Or if you are confident to hold on to a motorbike, they will also drag you up, man. That's the best thing of Malaysia. They got no ass. Super friendly. So, yeah. After this, I head down into the lake called Belom. I'm told that it's super beautiful down there also. And then have a meal on my lunch down there. And then one more climb of the day, about 8K or so. That's the only significant part of the day left after today. So that's it. Yeah. Highly recommended to come here. Air is nice. Uh, surrounding is nice. The views. I gotta say absolutely worth it. Okay guys, freaking 30k descent, kind of sketchy and here we are, one of the lakes, I think it's called Banding, B-A-N-D-I-N-G, Banding, so it looks nice, we have all these uh, boat houses over here, I believe you can stay here if you want, and you can get food and drink as well, so yeah, it's been quite swift. Good thing is the sun is out and it's not raining. I have something like 50k to go to the town of Gerig. And then so, I think one of the highlights other than seeing the elephants just now, right, is to finally come to this bridge that I've been seeing on Google Maps for so long. And for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's the water or because I just came down from the mountains always feels good to arrive at somewhere that you want to be and then uh, experience positively um, what the what the journey was like so the descent itself I would say um, yeah it's, it's not so bad just got to watch out for certain stretches of roads where, where there are some potholes and then you got to be prepared to bunny hop 
Yeah, so if you can't bunny hop, right, then make sure your brakes are super duper effective. Okay friends, descended all the way down about 12k to go to the village of Gere. The descent on the whole right not satisfying one. So you expect that if they if the roads kind of go upwards for 30k without stopping, I mean the expectation is you come down 30k also you know smoothly lah with just keep going down right but just as you get some speed you know they throw in one cannot call climb also but it's like a like a ram you know like maybe I don't know 500 meter or 1k count of ram 5% 8% this time you must change to small ring and go up damn irritating so it keeps happening throughout all the way down not only from the rest stop Titi Wangsa all the way down to the lakes and then from the lake after your climb there it's, a, it's the same it's the same you know the, the none of the descents here are satisfying you will always have uh, curve balls and never less than four to five curve balls so although the view up there is nice and actually the, the climb is quite nice the descent and the roads for descending are damn sketchy so as I mentioned earlier on, as soon as you can bunny hop or your brakes are damn good, then you are kind of good to go. So alright, um, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for coming along. Tomorrow is our last day and we will head into Penang or rather Butterworth. Yeah, thanks for joining me for the ride.